Boy, oh boy, have I got some super easy, delicious meals for you. And they are waistline friendly. Whatever we would do, we do it just for fun. You have requested crock pot meals. So I am bringing you four easy, delicious, and on the low calorie side of crock pot meals. I am kicking these off with a delicious crock pot Santa Fe chicken. In the crock pot, I am adding black beans, a can of black beans rinsed and drained, one can of low sodium chicken broth, one can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, a bag of frozen corn, some green onion and some cilantro, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna give this a good stir. I have added four boneless, skinless chicken breasts to my crock pot. I'm going to season these with some salt. I'm gonna kinda sink these down into the juice. They're still just a little bit frozen, but I want them to pick up all that really good flavor. Now I'm gonna cook these on low for six hours. After the chicken is fully cooked, then you shred it. And let me tell you, I am barely touching this and the chicken is falling apart. After I shred this, I am adding it right back into the juices and the corn and black beans and I'm gonna let it soak all that in. You can serve this over rice or you can put it in a low carb tortilla and serve it that way. I have both, so I'm gonna get some rice ready and then also set out the tortillas and then everybody can just make a decision on what they're hungry for tonight. Okay, so I have mine over rice tonight and I tasted it and it is really good. It has good flavor, especially from those tomatoes and green chilies. I really like this one. Today's crock pot meal is mushu pork. We have had this in the past and we have been craving it. It is that good. It's really easy to make, but man, the flavor is perfect. In my crock pot, I have some pork loin. You can cut them into chops if you want to or use pork chops. I have seasoned them with salt and pepper. I took two eight ounce bottles of hoisin sauce and three tablespoons of soy sauce and I have mixed that together. I'm going to put this all over the pork chops and then I'm going to set my crock pot on low for six hours and I'll meet you back here for the next steps in just a minute. Okay so I shredded up the pork and I chopped it up some green onions and I added that into the pork and the sauce. Now I'm going to add about one and a half to two bags of coleslaw mix into the crock pot. Okay, so I mix it up really super good and now I'm going to get the crock pot heated back up and put it on for one and a half more hours and then it will be ready for us to enjoy. Okay, you can do this several different ways but I like mine on a tortilla and then I also put some rice on there with it. You can have in a bowl with just rice and you can just have it without rice and just on a tortilla, however you choose. But I like mine with all of it, the rice or tortilla. And then I just wrap this right up in a tortilla like this and I eat it and I did not make a side because seriously, we have vegetables in the pork from the coleslaw mix and we have rice, tortilla, I think we're good to go. I am making a slow cooker chicken and stuffing. One of Jason's favorite side dishes is stovetop stuffing. So when I saw this recipe, I knew that this was going to be a big hit with my family. Okay, in a bowl, I'm gonna use two separate bowls. You can use the same bowl, but I'm just gonna use two different bowls because I like to do dishes, not. <laughs> so you take a half a cup of sour cream. The recipe calls for fat-free. I could only find light. I figure less is best, so I'm just gonna use light sour cream. Now I'm gonna use a can of cream of chicken soup and this one is the healthy request. I'm adding some seasoning. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Give this a good stir. Okay, in this bowl I'm gonna use one package of stovetop stuffing. I'm using the savory herb. You can use any kind you want. And one cup of low sodium chicken broth. I'm giving this a stir. And then we are going to head over to my crock pot. 
I have three chicken breasts in my crock pot. I season them with pepper, salt, and a little bit of law reese. Now I'm adding the cream of chicken soup mixture to the top of the chicken. And then over that is going to be the stuffing mix. Super simple, right? Okay, I'm going to put my crock pot on low for six hours. All right, this does not look appetizing at all. So um, the chicken falls apart, and then that stuffing with the soup mixture, this is a fantastic meal, seriously. There is flavor going throughout this whole dish. And I am just gonna have some beets and corn on the side and call it good. But you could also do salad, mashed potatoes, anything like that. But it is definitely a good meal. And I am ending our week with crock pot chicken and dumplings. By measuring out the dough for the dumplings, I am able to keep this recipe calorie friendly. Okay, we're starting out by having one cup of diced carrots, onions, and celery. This step is completely optional. You do not have to do this, but I am sauteing the vegetables a little bit until they are softened. To my crock pot, I added five cups of water and then I am using chicken tenders. You can use chicken breasts if you want to, so I have those in the water. The recipe does not call for seasonings, but I'm going to season mine with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. I am adding two tablespoons of this Better Than Bouillon roasted chicken base and one bay leaf. And now I'm adding those sauteed vegetables to the pan. Okay, I'm gonna set my crock pot to low for six hours and I'll see you back here for the next step in just a minute. Okay, I took all of the chicken out of the crock pot and I have it on a plate for now and I'm going to shred it in just one second. But I turned my crock pot on high and I'm letting that heat up. Meanwhile, in a little bowl, I have one cup of milk and four tablespoons of cornstarch and I am whisking that together and I'm going to be pouring that in the soup in just a minute but I got to shred up that chicken first. The chicken pretty much just fell apart as I just touched it with the fork. It's so tender and in my crock pot I went ahead and I poured in that milk and cornstarch and I'm whisking it really well and then I'm going to add the shredded chicken back into the soup. Now that the chicken is back into the crock pot, I'm gonna leave it on high so it cooks together, and I'm gonna put the cover on it, and then I'm going to start on the dumplings. In a bowl, I have added two cups of flour, and to this, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of Laurie's seasoning salt. I'm gonna stir this together. I'm adding a tablespoon of melted butter, I'm using the, I can't believe it's not butter, and three-fourths of a cup of milk, and I'm gonna stir as I add this. I measured out the dough with a teaspoon, and I kind of patted them into a ball shape. This is my second round of these. I already added the first ones to the crock pot. So I have these on a paper plate. It just seems better because I don't want them to all clump together into one big dough ball. <laughs> So we are coming over to the crock pot, which is still on high. Doesn't that just look fantastic? Oh my goodness. I'm going to add the rest of these to the crock pot, but I'm gonna keep stirring as I go so they don't stick together. Just kind of taking my time with it. I'll stir that last one in there. Okay, I'm gonna put the cover back on the crock pot and I'm going to leave this on high for an hour and it should be ready to go. Okay, so my crock pot cooks pretty high and so I left it on high to cook the dumplings for about 30 minutes and then I turned it on low for the other 30 minutes and it worked. It's all cooked, all done, and oh my goodness, this stuff is amazing because me and Jason have already sampled it. What, we did? When? All of these recipes are linked below, and with each recipe comes the nutrition facts. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon.